Today, when we think of tattoos, we envision a man with a tattooed back, chest, arms, and legs. A young woman tattooed on her lower back, stomach, legs, or a very strong athlete with a tattoo. Men and women of Polynesia have been tattooed throughout history, not only for adornment, but for marking their heritage as the documentation of historical events and as a sign of dedication to family. Not only was the tattoo believed to be a person's mana, their spiritual power of life force, but also symbolized bravery. A Polynesian tattoo does not come without extreme pain, as there was no anesthetic and the instruments used were very primitive. The instruments used were made of turtle shell, boar's teeth, a bird's beak, and a shark's tooth which would be dipped in ink made of candle nut soot. The skin was stretched and the ink would be tapped into the skin, which is where the word tattoo originates from the word tatu, which means to strike. Polynesian tribal jewelry by Domina was created in an effort to teach my grandchildren their Samoan heritage. The idea of putting the ancient tattoo designs on bracelets seemed to be the perfect solution. With Polynesian cultures having their own motifs in ancient history, I decided to put various island designs on sterling silver cuffs for men and women as well as pendants and earrings. Here are some of the different designs currently in the ship's store. In New Zealand, known as Aotearoa, land of the long white cloud, to its native Maori people, the unfurling fern was the symbol used in many of their tattoo designs. The fern represented the beginning and the continuation of life. Despite the dominance of the European culture in New Zealand, the Maori men and women tattooed their faces, known as moko, to show their heritage. The part of the Maori tattoo that extended from the mid-torso to the knees was called the puhoro. Easter Island tribes, or Rapa Nui men and women, were tattooed on the face, with the men almost their entire bodies with symbols of the designs on the dance paddle of the sea. Land birds, frigate, spearheads, and their most famous statues, the Moai figures seen on their shores. In Samoa, tattooing is called a tatau, which is done on both men and women. A man would get a pea, which would run the entire lower half of his body from his navel to his knee, everything from his navel to his knees. Whereas a Samoan woman would be tattooed from her thighs to her knees. The female tattoo is called a malu. Translated means protected and sheltered. The pea consists of spearheads, sharks teeth, waves, and many other things in everyday life in the islands. There is a Samoan proverb, the work of a man, that while a woman shall bear children, men shall feel the fire of tatau tattoo. This just gives you an idea of the excruciating pain that comes with getting a tattoo Polynesian style. In Tahiti's ancient society, the tatau represented one's genealogy and social ranking. Different figures of squares, circles, crescents, the letter C and the letter Z are mostly used on the joints of a woman's finger. Men, however, were tattooed all over their body, including the neck and ears, with geometric as well as turtles, dolphins, and tikis. Only the face was left untattooed. The designs used in Tahitian tattoos are represented in the paddle. There are very few pictures known of the Tongan tattoo, except for this one which demonstrates the geometric designs and signifying the journey from the past to the present of the Tongan people. Most of the Tongan designs are very similar to the Samoan designs. The Hawaiian kakao
tattoo served as ornamentation and distinction of heritage, but also guarded their health and spiritual well-being. In ancient Hawaii, the cacao secrets were closely guarded and mostly died with the ancient kahunas. There are pictures of the ancient Hawaiian tattoos which depict the motifs of crescent fan, peahi, niu, shark tooth, niho manu, checkerboard pattern, papakaane, goats, domino motif, circles, and some important dates. Men were tattooed on their legs, arms, face, and torso. Women were also tattooed with most of the work on their fingers, hands, wrists, and chests. Polynesian tribal jewelry by Domina is now designing tattoo motifs from the islands of Fiji, Marquesas, and Tokelau. Be sure to visit the ship's stores and get your Polynesian tattoo designs, a souvenir of your trip to the South Pacific.